Hi everyone, this is Yulia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, I talked about how to style for fashion-inspired uh, boudoir photo shoot. And in today's video, I'm gonna actually show you the behind the scenes of a shoot uh, with an actual client. Uh, Cece is getting ready right now. She's uh, doing her uh, final touch-ups and she's gonna be here in a moment. Just wanted to remind you that these type of shoots, uh, fashion-inspired uh, boudoir, are good for uh, conservative customers who, let's say, they don't want to, um, to do boudoir shoot, but this is the style that they would be willing actually to do. Uh, it's good for uh, clients who want to print those images big and put them on the wall, which brings your, uh, more, generates more money for your business. And of course, for uh, clients who want to share this type of images on their social media, which brings you more traffic to your business. So let's get started. Uh, CC is almost ready. We're gonna go over the outfit options that she brought. Uh, we talk a little bit uh, what we start, uh, which option, which outfit option we're starting first, and then we will continue with the actual shoot. Just a reminder, this is going to be behind the scenes shoot. So if you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the comment area and I'll be happy to answer them all later. So let's get started. Okay, let's see what you brought. Um, here, I love these two items. Yeah, so I brought two different bodysuits. Okay. That's what it's called, right? Bodysuits. Yes. Um, one really plain. Uh, mm -hmm. I just like the sheerness of this one. And then this one has a bit more of a floral pattern, mm -hmm. even though it's they're both in black. I just thought, you know, uh, it's such a great classic and elegant color to mm -hmm. have. Um, yeah. I really love this one. I, I love it a lot and we can even start from this. Uh, the, it's really comfortable. Um, you will be very comfortable wearing that in front of the camera. Um, this one is really cute as well. So in here. So these are more of the uh, traditional, or I don't know, maybe it's not mm -hmm. traditional, but <laughs> <laughs> just uh, traditional lingerie pieces, yeah. you know, a matching set. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a little bit different. This is a high-waisted, um, so it's it's actually a pole dancing. Okay. A, a pole dancing workout workout outfit. Oh, nice. Um, so this is high-waisted, the shorts, and then mm -hmm. uh, this is the top. And I thought you would like the the nude behind yeah. the black mesh. Yeah, this is beautiful, and this is very trendy now. Yeah. Yeah, I photographed uh, some clients. They brought high waist. Uh, Pennies and mm -hmm. they look amazing, look cute. Okay, so look at this one. Yes, yeah, so this <laughs> one, I don't know what to what to exactly call this one. Uh, it must be a bodysuit. Probably, yeah, it's, it's yeah. a bodysuit. And it's it's really nice because um, it can be dressed up or down. Mm -hmm. And I thought you would like the, yeah, the sheerness I love as well. Yeah, sheer outfits. All right, and this one will go definitely under the um, blazers for sure. That would look really cute. Um, this one piece lingerie is really nice. And we have bras here, mm -hmm. one and another, another set. one. Yeah, I really love the style. Your taste is amazing. Thank you. Okay. Well, so. great taste appreciates great taste. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> All right, so now we have two blazers that we're going to work with. Mm -hmm. And I think this one will work with maybe a little bit less, uh, the outfit that has less patterns, mm -hmm. even with this one. I think this would look great. Or, or maybe this one. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I love this one. So I think we can do this. We will definitely use this one. And we can try the high waist panties if we have enough time. And 
what other outfits do you want to try? Well, like we can, tr we, we will try to use all of them, uh, just okay. to have a variety of styles and for different poses. But and the blazer, yeah. I wish you had a little bit a variety of colors, but it's fine. Uh, yeah. Black is classic, and it works for everything. I also have a hat here, so. What do you do? You like hats or? I do, but uh, sometimes my head might be a little bit big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's see if it. <laughs> no, I think it works. Okay. Yeah. So maybe if, um, yeah, we we can try the hat as well. All right. So let's decide what we're starting from. Uh, you can do your like if you have your preference. Let me know, and we'll start with the outfit that you you love the most, and then we will try to use the rest, okay? Okay. So what do you think? I think we should start going this way, but maybe this one third. Okay. So would you like to do blazer first? Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is the first time, right, you're gonna use for the photo mm -hmm. shoot. Okay, so perfect. And I love the garter belt. We can use it as well, so I think that's gonna look cute. So yeah, so we decided. This is first, this is second, third, and then the rest. Option. Sounds good? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's go change, and Thank I'll be waiting you. for you here. While CC is changing, I'm gonna test my lights, and then we will start the actual shoot. So today I'm shooting with a Nikon D850 and 70-200 millimeter lens, 2.8. And I'm using Elinchrom. Let me show you actually what I'm going to use for the shoot. So I'm working with Elinchrom battery pack ALB400. I have this uh, huge Octabox that I might change uh, to a smaller one depending on the lighting style I'm going for. For now, I'm just going to keep it here and see what we can get with that. Um, over here, we have a strip box that I'm going to position on the other side. So I'm going to move it to, to this side over here. Okay, and again, um, my lighting setup may change depending on the style I'm going for. So here I have a snoot that I will try to use at the, at the very end of the session. Uh, and another battery pack, this is ALB500. And here I have uh, Octabox with continuous slide that I'm using for the video purposes. This is um, CLX10 by Light and Motion, amazing continuous lights that help me a lot uh, to um, do great video for all of you guys. So she's almost ready. I think I'm, I'm ready as well. Uh, let me just turn on my lights. So we're going to start with some poses using this stool. Okay. I love this stool because you can position your legs on one or another bar and this way we can actually do a variety of poses. So the first pose we're going for is going to be more of like a sitting on the side and maybe leaning a little bit and you can um, move the shoulder, move the jacket off the shoulder like that and see what we get, okay? I'm gonna test first. Okay, yeah, yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And your hair, maybe, did you, oh yeah, you didn't clip it, so let it just fall nicely. Okay, you look beautiful. Yeah, I, I like that, yeah, just like that. You can, it can be kind of loud. The lingerie can be visible a little bit, that's perfect. And let me fix this side as well. This is a really nice blazer. Yeah, Cece has amazing taste. When we did her previous session, I complimented her on her amazing taste. Okay, so 
I'm gonna just bring my uh, power up. Okay, let's do it one more time. Very good. And one more. Okay, so let's do the actual, the pose, and I think the light looks good. So do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Bring one leg up, yeah, perfect. And move your jacket, just blazer a little bit. Perfect. No, actually keep it how it was, yeah. And then just position your arm on the stool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. No, 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 rings are perfect. Yeah, that's perfect, hold it. And you can t tilt your face slightly towards that light. Mm -hmm. So, and your hand over here, let's move it. You don't have pockets, right? They're not actual pockets. I didn't open. Okay. Um, yeah, just position them softly on here. Like, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Chin up a little bit, softer hand. And drop it lower, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Look back at me. Very good, and uh, look that direction. Mm -hmm. So your hand. Um, what if you kind of position it right here? Yeah, perfect. And give that sassy look. <laughs> one, two, three. Very good, chin up. Perfect. Now we're gonna move to a, another pose. So let's do, let's move the, the chair completely. And we're going to do something like, like that. Or we can drop it off the shoulder and do it like this. So it's like the, the leg is going to be kinda, yeah, right there mm -hmm, on your tippy toes. So let's try that and see if that's comfortable pose for you. Mm -hmm. Like that or like this. Mm -hmm. oh, one, you can put one on the shoulder, one off the shoulder. If that works. No? <laughs> yeah, right there. Okay, very good, perfect. Um, bring it even closer. Mm -hmm. And a little bit lean forward, chin up. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful, chin down a teeny bit, right there. Very good. Now look towards that light. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So throughout the shoot, uh, every single facial expression and pose should have lots of confidence. So we're showing you as a confident, successful, beautiful woman who is out there to conquer the world, which who you are, that's your personality. Uh, so every pose we do, give me more of that type of very confident look, okay? okay. Uh, and that's also really very related to fashion because when you look at the fashion magazines, they're, they're not very happy faces, but they're very confident. Um, not sad for sure, but just that confidence should, um, we should see through your eyes and through the facial expression in general, okay? okay. So let's do one more. Uh, again, all the poses are fashion inspired, so, and you've probably, you probably always uh, look through the magazines, right? So if you remember anything, we can do that specific pose, go ahead. Uh, but if not, I'll just uh, guide you on that. Okay. So let's do something more of uh, one hand is going to be here, another one here. Jacket is kind of uh, completely, yeah, straight and mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, just like that. All right. Okay, perfect. 
Okay, yeah. And if you can do this way, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. I think that looks nice as well. Perfect. One, two, three. Look away for a second. Beautiful, confident look. Very good. All right. Now let's go back to our, that was a warm up <laughs> for you. So now we can do some poses like, let's turn this way like this. So you're going to be sitting sideways. You're going to bring your uh, um, blazer a little bit off the shoulder down, and then we can move with, change the position slightly in that pose. Okay, so to give that confident look, you should uh, maybe squint your eyes a little bit, bring your chin up. So that adds as well to that facial expression. So let's try again. Gorgeous, one more time. Look away for a second. That's lovely. Okay, perfect, you wanna see? This is with no editing yet, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> my camera doesn't need it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think you look gorgeous. It's I, a nice pose. I think as the photographer, you make me look good. Uh, thank you. I don't have to do much. You know? it's, <laughs> you're very natural. So let's do something maybe like with if you're seat and bring your legs a little bit apart and kind of move forward, uh, slightly sideways. Okay. Is my blazer open? Or yes. Mm -hmm. open? Yeah, let's open the blazer. Okay, point your toes for that. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very good. One, two, three. I'm going to lower my angle and see how that works for you. Perfect. Again, uh, with squinty eyes and yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That sassy look. One, two, three. Very good. Okay, let me just take a look how my light falls on your face. Okay, this one. Move your hair a little bit. And I like how you just lean forward. So keep that. And let's move your hair and I'll move my light because that creates a little bit of shadow on your cheek. Okay, now let's see how that looks. And how you did that leaning a little bit forward. Yeah, like that. Oops, sorry, that was accident. Okay, let me see now. Okay, that's beautiful. And now keep your back a little bit straight. Yeah, right there. One, two, three. Look away. Beautiful. Okay, I love it. All right. So let's see what we can change probably. Yeah. Okay. Let's change uh, to this one. And then if we need, we can return to the blazer and just add it to whatever lingerie you're wearing. Or even you can put it on your shoulder like that and do a couple of shots like that. Okay. okay. So no blazer on top yet. Yes. So that was a warm up for my client. She was wearing the blazer with lingerie uh, to feel more comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, now she is um, going to wear a bodysuit, which also a nice item for conservative clients, especially because it feels really comfortable um, to be in and be in front of the camera. And she, you, we can also continue playing with the blazer. And then we will start moving towards the um, actual lingerie items or maybe even the um, blazer without a bra and just wearing panties if she is comfortable with that so let's see what 
she's wearing yeah that's beautiful okay so as you can see she is wearing a bodysuit how do you feel like is it yeah comfortable for you okay so now we will still use the blazer uh, maybe if you can uh, sit down on the chair and put one sleeve on yes and one can be just like that hanging on the shoulder so sit down and you can be positioned like 45 degrees this way uh, with yes with the one leg lower than another one yeah that's perfect yeah I like, I like that yeah so we're going to do it's it's more of a masculine type of pose I usually use that pose for male portraits but with a feminine look and that also adds so much confidence um, uh, to the shot and to our subject. So let's do that. I think that's a perfect pose. Okay, one, two, three. Lower your chin a little bit. And I'm doing lower angles as well. I actually do both. So now I'm doing a lower angle, angle just uh, to add that fashion feel as well. Okay, uh, Cece, let's do it one more time. Just move your bangs a little bit to the side because they create shadows again, okay? Um, bring your elbow a little bit in, that's perfect. And and um, this hand. So let's see what we can do. Softer a little bit. A little bit, yeah, right there. Okay, one, two, three. More confidence. Yes, there you go, perfect. Love it. So now move the blazer a little bit away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. And position your hand on, on, the, on the blazer, right there like you're moving it even more to the side. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, one, two, three. Very good. Love it. Okay, perfect, I love it. So now let's do um, leaning against it. You're gonna take it off. And you can hold it the, the blazer, kind of position it on the shoulder, yeah, and you can lean against the chair. So let's switch. We're gonna hold, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, right there, perfect. So lower the shoulder a little bit, right there, perfect. Yeah, I was just about to say it. <laughs> Okay, so what do you think you can do it on the tippy toes for both feet? Um, so sit a little kind of, yeah, mm -hmm, right there. Yeah, bring it even closer to, yeah, either one, mm -hmm, whatever works. Okay, very good. Uh, lower your shoulder a little bit. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look down at your shoulder. Kind of like down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Chin up a little bit more. Very good. Perfect. Relax. All right, and we'll do the last pose, just maybe standing and the same position holding the blazer kind of like like this or yeah let's see let's see what works better for you kind of like that or or over here mm -hmm. okay or like that is perfect too okay lean a little bit forward Let's see if we can add maybe, oh yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try that one. And again, if you feel that pose is not comfortable for you, you can adjust, adjust it to um, your comfort, okay? 
So you can do this and lean forward and look away. Mm -hmm. Okay, look back and uh, kind of like imagine you're fixing your hair and just hold right there. Just kind of, yeah, your hand is on in your hair. Mm -hmm. Perfect, hold it, hold it. One, two, three, tilt your face slightly towards me. Perfect, right there. Very good, all right. Okay, now we're gonna do um, one shot without the blazer, just sitting on the tube, okay? And then we'll change. I love these tubes, they're amazing. Um, it's such a great investment for a studio. Uh, I use them for posing all the time, no matter if it's boudoir or portraiture. They're amazing. So we're actually going to sit on it with, so the pose is gonna look like this. Kind of like this. Let me actually show it to you on the tube, if I can, <laughs> because I'm wearing a skirt. All right, so 45 degrees uh, towards the light. And yeah, so it's gonna be something like that. Or arm over here. So depending on, again, depending how comfortable you are on this tube, but one leg up, one leg down, okay? okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Either way, it's again, it's up to you. Yeah, like that, mm -hmm. yeah. And again, this is kind of like wood. You can scoop, uh, scooch a little bit there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can never say that. I think I, I was telling you that story, right? Me? Yeah, about... <laughs> oh, I have so much real estate scoot. here, so I need to scoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to say <laughs> scoop. <laughs> I used to say scoop instead of scoot, oh. and then my, my son corrected me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, relax your shoulder a little bit. <clears throat> so just like a quick tip for everyone, and uh, biggest mistake that beginner photographers do when a client or a model <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, so a quick tip for all of you, if uh, especially for beginner photographers, mistake that many uh, photographers not paying attention to when model or a, a client uh, posing, especially with the arms straight like that, what they usually do, and it's a normal normal thing to do uh, for us in general. So they bring the shoulder up and then tense the shoulder that which make look uh, the shoulder, sorry, the arm look bigger. So avoid that, ask office to drop the shoulder. And that's one of the things that I constantly say to my clients, drop the shoulder, drop the shoulder, drop the, it's like it's, it's a natural thing to bring the shoulders up. So yeah, drop the shoulder and relax the arm and we can always bend the elbow a little bit and that will also give that more relaxed and less tense look of the arm and also make it look slimmer. Okay, and let me fix your hair. So easy to work with you. <laughs> Watch enough a little bit. Beautiful. Very good. So let me take a look at the pose. Uh, move your arm. Let's see how this straight and yeah, and bring it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, let's do that. You make it <laughs> I'll fix your hair. It's my hair that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have like little hair over here. 
that I constantly need to move, I think, otherwise I'll have re I have to retouch it. And I don't like to spend too much time on retouching. Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, hands a little bit softer, kind of maybe not like that. Uh, relax and do that again, mm -hmm. because first time you did perfectly. Right there, perfect. One more time. Now keep it straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Love it. Hold it. Okay, another uh, tip. <laughs> Uh, so when we're posing for fashion-inspired boudoir, uh, don't be afraid to experiment with straight legs, straight arms. That adds a little bit of fashion feel. So this looks really good. Um, I've been talking about triangles a lot. Triangles are great, um, but again, for fashion-inspired boudoir, straight lines work perfectly. So keep that in mind. Now I think Cece has another pose for me with straight leg or a straight arm in her mind, no? She was just doing something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we will move to another pose. I think we got uh, great images and I can show them to you. I think those looks ni look nice. I have big thighs. <laughs> I love this one a lot. Okay, so uh, let's move forward. We are going to do, we, we have uh, one shot at least with the bodysuit. Uh, let's move to the lingerie, I guess. Are you comfortable being in lingerie now? Okay, yeah. so let's see what we can continue with. You want to try this one? Sure. Yeah, okay. Oops, something is falling down. <laughs> Okay, let's do this one. So, and after shots with lingerie, we can continue with a blazer, no bra and just panties. Um, so let's see how that outfit looks. And meanwhile, I'll come up with some poses. <laughs> so we are adding this chair to our set and we're going for additional three poses. Just to get this chair will help to diff to do variety of poses, I would say. And Cece is wearing a one-piece lingerie, which is absolutely beautiful. And for the first pose, we're just going to kind of lean against uh, the back of the chair, uh, pointy toes, and then we will move to a pose. Uh, let's do like extended arms, extended legs a little bit, pointy toes as well. And then we will lean forward maybe with our arms between the legs, kind of leaning forward like that, okay? okay. So those are going to be just the, those three poses that we're going for. Okay, okay. So I'll take your wine. And I'll turn on my light. So let's go with the first pose. Uh, we're going to lean, position your arms on the sides yeah, of the chair, drop your shoulder. Yes, perfect. Just like that. Okay, let me test to see how this looks with that chair. Okay, looks pretty. I'm going to... Yeah, yeah. Or you can bring it up if you want. Yeah, that's cute. Or this one. No, let's do that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit lower. I don't know if it's possible. Look away for a second. Gorgeous. And what is, okay, I have to move myself. What is bothering me is the hand. But uh, let's add a glass of wine. So you could hold that in your hand. And we'll add a story to our shot. <laughs> okay. You can bring this leg down for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. Hold it like that. Okay. 
Okay, one, two, three. Look away. Different angle. Look back at me. water <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> it's like something stuck in my throat but there is nothing <laughs> Are you going to add it to the video? Oh my goodness. The struggle of photographer, not drinking water. Okay. I actually like how you lean. So maybe if you extend your legs and lower them down and lean a little bit to the side. I don't know if you can do that. Like this? Yeah. So move your body slightly to the uh, edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then turn. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't fire one time. Okay, very good. So now let's, um, I'll take the, the wine. And you're going to be leaning, um, leaning against the chair with your arms up. One is a little bit lower than another one. Yes, and yeah, just like that is perfect. Let me see how it looks from this angle. Yeah, like that, perfect. All right, one, two, three. Very good, I love it, that's perfect. All right, and the next one is leaning forward with your arms. Um, on the chair. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Look away. Look away. Mm -hmm. Drop your shoulder a little bit. Yeah. And look back at me. Very good. Okay, one more time. I kind of twisted my camera. Love it. And look down at your shoulder. Perfect. Why am I twisting my camera? One more time, sorry. <laughs> okay, love it. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. All right, so. Now let's change to another outfit and let's do the blazer, panties and no bra, if you don't mind, okay? Those are gonna be cool. Yes, that's, yeah, that's perfect. You just, you can put the blazer on and that's it. All right, so while she's changing, I'm gonna move this chair and I am going to add some patterns, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna use snoot. So let's go ahead and move that and I need you to move my chair. We did some changes in our lighting setup and I also changed my lens to 50 millimeter. So let me just go over the lighting here. Uh, I, I removed my big Octabox and I'm just using my strip box with the grid on top. So the lighting is going to be a little bit more dramatic for this shot. So Cece, she's wearing a blazer with no bra and panties. And I positioned my silver reflector on the other side to fill in some shadows. Uh, we are also using a snoot and my snoot is right here. The pattern that I'm using with a snoot is a window. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn the, the modeling light is on, but um, you can see it. You'll see it in the final 
picture. So the, the, the window pattern is going to be on the backdrop behind her. And yes, now you can see it. My continuous light is off and you can see the pattern. So it's with the bluish gel on top. So it's gonna give me kind of like a blue, bluish backdrop effect. Um, that's it. So we're going with a simple uh, pose. Again, we're gonna do that confident look and you are going to look forward with, as you're doing now with the knee one up, one maybe to the side and holding by the blazer, looking straight with that confident look straight into the camera, okay? So let's do our first shot. See how it looks. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, one more time. Very good. Uh, so I'm gonna move my reflector because it's creating some shadow. <laughs> so let's do one more time. Bring your knee in again. Perfect. So the blazer creates a little bit of shadow. We're going to unbutton the blazer and uh, move it slightly to the side. Yes, right there. Mm -hmm. And again, the same leg, um, move it in and lean forward a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. One, two, three. Let me just take a look. Yeah, we still have some shadows, but I'm gonna move my soft box, my light a little bit to the side because that's the main thing that creates that shadow but I don't want my lighting to look flat, so I prefer it to be positioned sideways, but let's uh, try and see how that looks. Okay. Oops, I turned my light. All right. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So point your toes, uh, bring this knee in. Yeah, beautiful. One, two, three. Very good. Close up. Perfect. All right, so let's do a couple of different poses. And I like how you just did here, yeah, cross your leg. And uh, let's see if you can... Um, I'll give you something to put your legs on that's gonna be more comfortable for you. And again, <laughs> tubes, perfect uh, for studio photography. Okay, this is too high, right? Too high, so we're changing to another tube. <laughs> There is always a perfect tube for a perfect pose. Okay. And let's do cross legs and kind of lean forward. Yeah, right there. So let's see how we can adjust the pose. On your tippy toes, if you can. Bring it a little even higher. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hold it. All right, let me grab my camera. I always lose it. <laughs> okay, this one I'll do a little bit closer, Sean. Okay, very good. So I still have that shadow. Let's push this kind of like closer to your body. Mm -hmm. Chin down a little bit. 
Yeah, that's much better. So one more time. One, two, three. Yeah, that's nice. And I'll move my light to see if I'm still gonna get what I need. Mm -hmm. Confident look. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, that was our last setup. I'll probably do some more shots, but not for the video. And we can share those images uh, at the end of the, of the video with you. By the way, don't forget to sign up for my Buddha Photography Master Course. The information is in the description. And I'll see you next time.